Ron, I was just curious, how much resistance was there early on to let you direct? Because you didn't do any of the Happy Day shows. No, I didn't. Um, well, I have to preface the whole thing by saying that when I first started directing, it was the day after my 23rd birthday. So I got started young. Uh, and, uh, uh, but nonetheless, I was so impatient that I felt like everybody was just holding me back because <laughs> I, I wanted to, I'd been wanting to direct for 10 years at that point. And, and uh, uh, so there was, you know, there was some resistance, but, uh, but over the years people have been, you know, increasingly confident and, uh, and even early on, there, once we started working, very supportive. Now, the Grand Theft Auto uh, experience, now, yeah. Uh, you did Eat My Dust before that, right? Was, right. That, was that part of the deal that you had to do that? To I had to act and Eat My Dust in order to get to direct Grand Theft Auto. Uh, but I also had to act in Grand Theft Auto, and that's the last time I directed myself in anything. Uh, yeah, but I saw that movie not too long ago. I showed it to my kids. Uh, and, uh, you know, some, a couple of pretty good sequences, a couple of good car crashes and things. <laughs> now, can I ask you a question? Like, honestly, uh, for this film, uh, casting two people who are involved. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a time that you thought maybe, well, I wonder if this is a good idea or not? Oh yeah, yeah I did. I, 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 I right away felt that the pluses far outweighed the minuses, you know, uh, based on who they were as people, their talent, and, 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 and uh, how right they were for their roles. But nonetheless I thought, you know, what if this is their honeymoon, they're kind of, this is their honeymoon project. I have known people on honeymoons to have tremendous falling falling out, you know, and and so you know, what if I'm standing on the set and suddenly they, Nicole's throwing stuff at Tom or something? And none of that ever came to pass. But uh, I, I thought about it and I talked to them and I said, look, it's a hard movie. It's a challenging movie. We all want it to work. It's a risky proposition. Um, if you're having a problem and it's marital, I I guess I can't help you. Maybe as a friend, if you want me to, okay. But if it's about the movie, please talk to me. And they were very respectful of each other as artists and of me as the director, and it really made the whole thing go very smoothly. Yeah. I was wondering what your uh, opinion is on sequels, because you acted in uh, More American Graffiti, right. but you passed on uh, uh, Cocoon the Return. I did, yeah. So I was wondering what your feelings were about both those films. Um, I thought that the sequel to Graffiti was a good idea. Um, even though it wasn't a successful film, you know, I think I, I, I thought it was a good idea. The Cocoon sequel, I, fr I frankly, I felt that was a one-of situation. Uh, um, I could understand it as a business, uh, you know, opportunity, but creatively, I, I couldn't figure it out. And it takes so long to direct a movie that I'm just not prepared at this stage to do something, uh, you know, only because it's easy to market or something, you know. Now, what has been the worst time for you as a director? Because I wondered, you had, you had a string of hits early on, right. and then Gung Ho came out, and I, if I remember correctly, it didn't open as strongly as... It opened somebody. pretty well, but it, 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 and it was profitable, but it didn't do any business outside the United States at all, and, and, and that was the least successful uh, of the films. And it was, it was disappointing. I had such a, a good experience making that movie, though, um, and it did reach the profit, you know, it did become a profitable film. So I, you know, I didn't feel I didn't feel badly about it. But uh, um, the uh, every movie is its own challenge, and each and every time, no matter how successful you've been recently or unsuccessful or whatever, you know, you're rooting for that movie. Particularly if you're a director, it takes you at least a year to do a movie. In the case of Far and Away, I've been working on it for nine years, off and on. You know, so that's why. Um, you know, we're all kind of on pins and needles as the movie is released. That's why when we get news of really good sneak previews and good audience reaction, it's, you know, it's very rewarding because as much as people could say, oh, I make the movie that I believe in, we're all communicators and we're all entertainers and we want the audience's approval. Okay. Now, you've made some really big budget films, big stars, uh, elaborate special effects. Yeah. Do you Three ever want? Three the last four movies have been big, and that's so surprising for me because I, yeah, I guess I don't even think of the movies as necessarily being big until all of a sudden, that's what they become. I always think about the characters first, the story first, and kind of where the entertainment value is going to come, you know, out of those characters and actors. Okay. Do you ever want to do, maybe a low budget film with no stars? Would that be a nice change of pace for you? Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely would be, but I. I don't think there's any formula. 
you know, I and and I I like making movies that sort of try to buck the formulas a little bit, and I admire others who do, and uh, and I think there's nothing better for movie goers, or movie makers, than for that the you know the axioms and the formulas to be dispelled. I know it's a little n nerve wracking for the studios who'd like to believe there is a cookie cutter, but you know, over and over again it's 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 proven that uh, something that is original that just where the chemistry really works and it's a the it, story clicks with an audience th those are going to be the most special and exciting and profitable movies of the year. Great. All right. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah.